Hi everyone, welcome to another video on CISP. In today's video, we will study the exam question and answer related to domain 3 that is security engineering. So let's get started with the question. So the question number one in today's video is that what type of sprinkler, sprinkler system would be best for an art gallery? And the options are wet pipe, dry pipe, deluge or pre-action. And the correct option is pre-action. So the explanation of that option is that the pre-action sprinkler system lowers the chance of accidental discharge by requiring two separate triggers to deploy. The sprinkler head must open and the fire alarm must trigger. This system lowers the risk of fast alarm typically used in areas where water would cause expensive damage such as in that case that is an art gallery. So question number two is that what is the primary drawback in using dogs as a perimeter control and the options are training, cost, liability and appearance and the correct answer is liability. So the drop, drawback in using dog as a perimeter control is that the dog may and accidentally attack on a person that has entered the controlled area due to a mistake. So that why the dog may be a liability in using, uh, in using it as a perimeter control. Question number three is that the RSA algorithm is based on which one-way function and the uh, options are elliptic curves, discrete algorithm, frequency distribution and factoring composite numbers into their primes and the correct answer is factoring composite numbers into their primes and the explanation for that answer is that uh, the RSA is based on the difficulty of factoring large composite number into their primes. Factoring composite number into their prime is a very difficult mathematical uh, problem. So the RSA algor algorithm is based on that problem. Question number four is that which of the following is true for digital signatures and the options are the sender encrypts the hash with a public key, the sender encrypts the hash with a private key, the sender encrypts the plain text with a public key or the sender encrypts the plain text with a private key and the correct answer is the sender encrypts the hash with a private key. So in a digital sig uh, signature, initially the sender hash is the plain text and then encrypts the plain text with private key. Question number five is that which algorithm should you use for a low power device that must employ digital signatures? And the options are AES, RSA, ACC or EI GAML. And the correct answer is ECC. So ECC use very uh, low power and is a very strong encrypting, uh, strong cryptographic algorithm and that why it is suitable for low power devices. Question number six is that what model should you use if you are primarily concerned with the confidentiality of information? And the options are Brewer Nash model, Bell La Padula model, Biba model, or Clark Wilson model. And the correct answer is Bell La Padula model. So the Bell La Padula model is basically a confidentiality model, while the Biba model and the Clark Wilson model they are integrity model. So the next question is that on Intel x86 system the kernel normally runs in which CPU ring and the options are ring 0, ring 1, ring 2 or ring 3 
and the correct answer is ring 0. So the kernel usually lies in the ring 0 that is the closest to the hardware. Question number 8 is that which type of cloud service level model Linux hosting be offered under and the options are infrastructure as a service model, identity as a service model, platform as a service model or software as a service model and the correct answer is infrastructure as a service model. Question number 9 is that you are surfing the web via a wireless network. Your wireless connection becomes unreliable so you plug into a wired network to continue surfing. While you change physical networks, your browser requires no change. What type of security feature allow this? And the options are abstraction, hardware segmentation, layering and process isolation. And the correct answer is layering. So the layering we have uh, divided the whole IT system into multiple layers such as the physical layers work on a separate layer while the application, the browser that works on application layer, it is a separate layer. So changing one layer does not affect the other layer that is the application layer. Question number 10 is that a criminal deduces that an organization is holding an off-site meeting and has few people in the building based on the low traffic volume to and from the parking lot and uses the opportunity to break into the building to steal laptops, what type of attack has been launched? And the options are aggregation, emanations, inference and maintenance hook. And the correct answer is inference. Question number 11 is that EMI issues such as crosstalk primarily impact which aspect of security? And the options are confidentiality, integrity, availability and authentication. And the correct answer is in integrity. So EMI that is electromagnetic interference that we sometimes hear in our phone call uh, interferes from other phone calls that primarily impact the integrity of the call. Overall the call value is deteriorated and you cannot uh, easily understand your conversation. That means that the integrity is deteriorated. Or you can also say that your call may be mingled with someone else call and they can also hear your call, so your integrity is uh, impacted. Question number 12 is that what is the most important goal of fire suppression system? And the options are preservation of critical data, safety of personnel, building integrity and quickly extinguishing a fire. And the correct answer is safety of personnel. So safety of personnel is always the foremost important factor when you are uh, considering an information security system. Question number 13 is that what type of network cable should be used to eliminate the chance of crosstalk and the options are shielded twisted pair, unshielded twisted pair, coaxial and fiber optic. And the correct answer is the fiber optic because the fiber optic does not uh, work on the electricity and so it does, it does not produce EMI that result in the crosstalk. So that why the fiber optic is the correct answer. Question number 14 is that non-repudiation is best described as proving a user performed a transaction proving a transaction did not change, authentication, authenticating a transaction or proving a user performed a transaction that did not change. And the correct answer is proving that a user performed a transaction and that transaction did not change. So that's all for today. Thank you all for watching the video. 
so i will upload the video of the next domain very soon so if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and stay tuned for the next video